Hello everyone, Git repository is made of commit as we work, we do the changes and commit them in a particular branch and then a history of commits is created so for the example here you can see like there is a list of commit this commit is point this commit is the parent of this commit and this commit is the parent of this commit so a history of commit is created but if we want to see the site of work or line of work which we have done or if we want to see the history of our branch like if you want to see the history like what are the changes or what are the commits in your testing branch who has done the changes in the testing branch or like who has done the changes on a particular commit what changes has been done what file has been modified if you want to get the answer of all those questions right so we have to use git log command git provide a git log command which help us to find out all this all this information okay so let me go on the command prompt and let's try it out so before that let me see on which branch we are so we are on the testing branch so when i'm doing git log it will sh show me the history of this testing branch okay if you see it it's showing me the first commit this is the first commit so my head pointer is pointing to this commit as of now and I, and as well as uh, my testing branch pointer head pointer is specifying that I am on the testing branch so this is my current branch so if you see by default if you are not giving any options git shows commit hash author author when we talk about author it shows your username and email id and then date on which this particular commit was done the message which we have given okay so if you see it will show uh, some five six commits and then you can you can see further more commits so this is just a basic simple command to see the history of uh, commits like so that you you can get the idea who has done the changes what changes has been done and all just simple using git log is not that much intuitive it does not give us uh, much information so to get more information or like to get useful information out of git log git provide a lot of options one is like minus p so for the example i just i want to see what files has been changed as well as what changes has been done in those files i can use minus p okay or minus minus patch whatever i want so if i do minus p it what it's uh, doing it's going to show me the diff of my previous version as well as the, the current version okay it will show me uh, what changes was done so i created a cherry pick.txt in this particular commit so this was a new file okay you do that it's telling new file mode and it's showing like i added this particular line okay so if i go to the previous commit of this particular commit it's telling like i created this cherry pick.txt again this was a new file so and this is a another commit if you see here like it's showing the difference between conflict.txt the previous version of this file and the current version of a file at this particular hash or particular commit so if you see what it is telling there was a empty line which was deleted and then we added this create conflict okay and then we remove my uh, change and instead of change we kept this line change the file for conflict okay so this is how we can see the changes which has been done in a particular file commit okay so if there are 10 files were changed as a part of particular commit so all those will be listed here so minus p is basically pa minus minus patch command and we can restrict the response to num two commits three commits as we want so if i do git log minus p minus two it will show me only those it will show me only two commits 
because I have restricted my response to two commits. And there are there are other commands which will help you to think what changes has been done. You want to get the uh, states states of the file, state uh, states of the commit means what file was changed and how many uh, how many lines were added or deleted you do you are not interested in the you are not interested in the content content of the ch- content which has been changed but you are interested what file was changed or something like that you can use git stay uh, git log minus minus stay. so if you see here it's telling me cherry pick dot txt was changed and there was a addition of one line okay so a total one file was changed in this particular commit there was one insertion so if you come here again the same thing but if you see here now here also only one file was changed okay but there were two insertion and two deletion so total four line of change so that's way we that's how uh, git log minus minus state works currently it just to show the, the uh, show the author name and commit message but i want to see different informations as well for the example if i do git log minus pretty pretty format h a n h minus a n a r s so what it is doing is like i am specifying the format like to get the more information in a particular format so i was willing to know the hash of the money commit and then who was the author so an is author name and then when it was done like three days ago so for that it is ar and then message okay like seven days ago ten days ago so that's how we can see the logs using pretty format and specify there are you can get whole list of uh, identifiers like this uh, on the git scm website after that if even we can restrict our response to particular dates like if i want to if i want to see the log i if i want to see the logs of the commit which has been done in a certain limit for the example I want to see the logs of if I want to see the uh, logs of 10 September to 20 September so what I will do git log minus minus after and before so basically any commits which were done after 10 09 2019 and before 20th august to oh sorry 20th september 2019 will be listed here so if you will see it's showing me 18 that's how with different different option we can see the history of our branch and git log is a very powerful command okay if we use it properly it's a very powerful command we can get various kind of formation in various format so thank you very much